Whether you've just bought a new Advent PC with Windows 8 pre-installed on it, or you've followed our online guides to upgrading your existing PC to Windows 8, then this video slideshow tutorial is for you. Windows 8 is the best version of Windows yet, stuffed full of new, exciting and above all useful features to help you get the most out of your computer. But it also marks a slight departure from previous versions of Windows in the way it looks and works. In this guide, we'll show you how to get to grips with a new modern user interface, and that's whether you have a touch screen, touchpad, mouse or keyboard. We'll also reveal some tips for making Windows 8 easier to use. The first thing you'll see after Windows 8 loads is the lock screen. From here, either swipe the screen down using your finger or click with a mouse to access the logon screen. Select your username if necessary, then type your user password and click the button to log into Windows. From here, you'll be taken to the new Windows Start screen. It's designed to act as a quick launch pad for other parts of Windows 8, and is also designed with a clean minimalist look and touch-friendly interface to work on tablets and phones as well as PCs. The Start screen is made up of tiles, most of which point to Windows 8 apps, which are programs designed specifically for the new modern user interface. Some tiles even display additional information related to the app, such as thumbnails of your photos or updated news headlines. To open an app, simply touch or click its tile. Apps are designed to run full screen, allowing you to concentrate fully on the program in question without getting distracted. But what happens when you want to switch to another app, or return to the Start menu? The answer lies in using hotspots. Windows 8 uses gestures to access hidden features, such as a shortcut to the Start menu, or a special charms bar that reveals configuration and sharing options. Gestures can be performed using your fingers on a touchscreen by swiping in from special hotspots found at the corners and edges of the screen. But you can also access these features via supported gestures on your new Advent laptop's touchpad by rolling the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen or via keyboard shortcuts. Here's what features are available and how to access them. First, the Start screen. Return quickly to the Start screen or the previous app by either rolling your mouse to the bottom left hand corner of the screen or by pressing the Windows key. Next, the App History sidebar, which allows you to easily switch between open apps as well as the classic Windows desktop. Access this with the mouse by placing the cursor in the top left hand corner of the screen or by pressing the Windows and Tab keys on your keyboard. You can also access it by swiping in from the left edge of the screen or your touchpad. Next, the Charms bar. This gives you quick access to key parts of your system via five shortcuts, known as charms. We'll look at these in a moment. Place the mouse in either corner on the right of the screen or press Windows plus C on your keyboard. Alternatively, swipe in from the right-hand edge of the screen or your touchpad. You can also access options for configuring both apps and the start screen itself. These are hidden by default, but can be revealed by clicking the right mouse button or swiping in from the top or bottom edge of your screen or touchpad. The Charms bar offers five options. Search, Share, Start, Devices and Settings. Access Search from within an app to restrict your search to that particular app. You can also access it from the Start screen for wider searches including files and settings. Type your search terms into the box and then choose whether to search for apps, which include desktop programs, settings or files, or to search within a specific app from the list. The share option allows you to share content from the current app using other compatible apps, such as Mail, Facebook and Twitter. Start offers another route back to the Start screen, while Devices gives you access to connected peripherals such as printers and cameras. Finally, choose Settings within an app to configure settings for the app itself. Alternatively, click the Change PC Settings option to change wider settings on your computer. You can also access power options including Shutdown and Restart from here. If all of these new features and changes sound a little overwhelming, then don't worry. On the Start screen you'll see a desktop tile. Clicking this takes you to the traditional Windows desktop, which works in practically the same way it did in previous versions of Windows. Most programs that can run in Windows 7 will launch into their own window in the Windows desktop, just as they did in earlier versions of Windows. You'll find hotspots work in exactly the same way on the desktop, but one notable absentee is the traditional Start button. Instead, press the Windows plus X keys together to open a special quick access menu that provides you with quick and easy access to key parts of the Windows desktop, 
from the Program and Features control panel to the Search charm. Also, look out for the new ribbon-based interface that's part of File Explorer, the new tool for browsing and managing your folders and files. You'll see it's based on the same ribbon used in later versions of Microsoft Office. Finally, here are some of our favourite tips and tricks for getting more from Windows 8. First, accessing system settings. You have two choices here. You can open the settings charm and click change PC settings. However, more settings can be found in the control panel. Press Windows plus X in the classic Windows desktop and select control panel from the pop-up menu to access it. Next, managing the start screen. You can customise the start screen to your personal tastes. Click and drag tiles to rearrange them or right click a tile to reveal more options such as changing its size, uninstalling the app or disabling live previews. Next, it's possible to display two Windows 8 apps side by side. With both apps open, switch to the first app. Press Windows and Tab to open the app history sidebar, then click and drag the other app tile over to the right hand edge of the screen to display it in its own sidebar. Next, closing full screen apps. Apps are suspended when you switch to another app, but you can manually close one by moving the mouse to the top of the screen. The cursor will change to a hand, click and drag it all the way down to close the app in question, or just press Alt and F4. Next, printing from a Windows 8 application. If your full screen app supports it, simply open the charm bar and select devices. Click your printer from the list to display print options. And finally, if you need extra assistance in Windows 8, just press the Windows plus F1 keys at any time to open the Windows Help and Support tool.